Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are going to go legend hunting. Once again, because I feel like maybe the team is actually a, a bit, just a wee bit more up to the task, as it were, sir. Um, you'll recall, namely, last episode. My goodness, my goodness. <laughs> Dracus has evolved into the mighty Salamence. Oh my goodness, look at just all the power, the headbutt, the earthquake, the aerial ace, the dragon breath. We are just, we are wrecking on every conceivable front. Just look out for Dracus, so powerful. There's our mighty CC. We have Happy the Feraligator. We are just crushing in every way. There's our mighty Sporkles. There we've got Reichlich, the Blaze. We have two fully evolved starters on the team. For now or now so part of why i feel comfortable going legend hunting is because now we're not that much higher than what we caught sweetson right Ex the exception of dracus however big difference we also have sweetson so what i'm gonna do right now is actually i want i think with sweetson we can feel reasonable about holding our own for a little while against some legendary. So what I'm gonna do is just move Suisen here in favor of, or uh, move Reichlich there. We've got Suisen on the team. And then I'm also real quick gonna get, um, just for a moment, we're gonna grab Disappoint because we need to fly. Real quick uh, and go pick up a new move for Suisen as it were. So I think what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna go down here to Route 19, where we can actually still catch something. We're gonna fight the trainers on our way to the Seafoam Islands. And then we're gonna work our way through the Seafoam Islands, through the puzzle to get to where typically you would run into Articuno. But in this run, uh, who knows what it'll be. Uh, I feel like it'll just be fun. To, it's always just fun to go fight the legendaries anyway. Um, and hopefully along the way, we'll get some levels so we can uh, be even more prepared, but I'm bringing, we'll have Salamence, which would be great. We will have Suisen, which would be great. Um, the move Thunder Wave, which I think you can do in Saffron City, right? Uh, because very good, because that way we don't have to rely on Lita with Sporkles. Oh no. Oh no, it's it's that girl right there. Yeah, this girl. Oh, you know, Team Rocket. Yes. Who can get Thunder Wave? Ooh, Cece can too, look at that. Uh, we're just gonna give it to Suisin though. Yes. And we're just gonna get rid of Roar because we don't need that. Yay, we did it. Cool. Uh, amazing, so now we have Thunder Wave and we're gonna head towards Back to Fuchsia City. I can talk, I can talk, I can totally talk words. Um, another thing I've been trying to consider is, uh, someone pointed out that we don't have many held items on the team, and that's true. And partially that's because you just thought there's not, at, like held items weren't as big a deal in this gen, like you can certainly do it and they are helpful. But um, like there's not lots of berries available and a lot of stuff you can't pick up until the post game. It's very annoying. One of the really useful items you can typically pick up though is the leftovers and you can get two of them. One uh, each where the Snorlaxes were and leftovers is a really, really good item. If it's a, if a Pokemon's holding it, it um, will heal one sixteenth of its health at the end of every turn, which is immensely good, immensely good. Uh, one of the best items of the game and you can get two of them. So we could have two on the team. The issue, however, is that in order to get the leftovers, you need the item finder. In order to get the item finder, you need to have 30 Pokemon in the, um, in the Pokedex. And you can see that in the national decks, we have 42, which is great, but they only count the Kanto decks. So <laughs> we are 15 away now, sort of, sort of 15 away. One of the things, um, You'll notice though, like we can, 
We could evolve Sandshrew. We could like evolve stuff from the Kanto region to get closer. So we could evolve that into Sandslash. We could get Metapod and Butterfree. We could get Clefable. We could get Raichu. We could get Pidgeot. Uh, and then we could also, we could go grab uh, Blitz out of the daycare and evolve it into Ninetales. And that would give us seven more into the decks. So we are like eight away still. So, um, I don't, I don't know how, what to do about that. It's very hard. Uh, if we can somehow, if some of the remaining Pokemon we can catch can get us up to, we can, if we can like evolve them in such a way that we can get to that 30 number, that would be amazing. Cause then we can get two sets of leftovers and that would give us some amazing prospects. In the meantime, let's start heading our way towards, uh, let's leave with data towards, uh, the Seafoam Islands. Now, remember that the way we do it is that the Seafoam Islands is, is its whole own place, right? So, once we get there, we have to turn on the max repels and just hope nothing breaks the repel between us and the legendary, because that would be the worst. Uh, and if that happens, that'll be our first encounter, and we will just whiff on Art Articuno, as it were. Now, the good also, though, we get to fight some trainers along the way. And depending on how long this all takes, uh, maybe we will also go for- Oh, look at this guy! This guy's got himself a dirty, ugly, livid. The same as our- I was, I was in the process of talking about peaches, and look what arrives. The ugly peach and a Dunsparce. What is this guy? He's going down, is what he's doing. Just like- Oh, I thought Dato was gonna get the level right there. Didn't get the level. Speaking of Data, Data's namesake, Data Rage has been putting together some spreadsheets that she's been sharing with me on Twitter about, I think we got this because we're so much higher level, <laughs> about like the encounters we've had throughout the game. They're super interesting to look at. Um, I will try and remember to put a link down below, but otherwise, um, it's totally worth checking out if you like looking at that kind of stuff. It, it, she is logging literally every species we've run into in every route, route thus far. Dave's trying to learn takedown. No, we don't want that. Did not learn. We don't need a uh, recoil uh, on the nuzlocke. Like, don't want to risk that sort of stuff. And uh, typically I would switch out for these fighting types, but we're just such a higher level. We're just gonna literally surf right through them. All right, I'm going to fish because we've had better luck with the fishing, I think so far, but this would be our route 19 encounter at the very least. Um, in some ways, it might be kind of nice if we got like a like a Weedle or something, because then that would give us three more Pokemon towards the leftovers, which would be really good. But who's to say? This is our route. Let's where is our Super Rod? This would be our Route 19 encounter. Come on! Oh, we got something. Let's see. What's it gonna be? An Ivysaur. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. I'll tell you what, guys. Are you seeing what we could have here? We could have the grass starter from Gen 1, the water starter from Gen 2, and the fire starter from Gen 3, all on one team, right? We could do it, it could happen. That's amazing, I love Ivysaur, hmm, okay. Uh, so first of all, Thunder Wave, amazing, do that. I, oh gosh, you'd think Quick Attack wouldn't do it, right? Even, But we are a literal 20 levels higher. Oh, but it, it's evolved. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. This is tricky. What if we just... What if we just... Uh, what if we just Ultra Ball? Yeah, what if we just... What if we just... Maybe we get a full health catch. We didn't. I didn't think that was going to work. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have anything... It's going to be quite weak enough. What do, we get? what do we have that could be weak enough to hit this? I think quick attacks are weakest attack, so we're gonna have to try it. Here we go, it's too late, I already tried. Please don't kill it. Oh, we didn't. My goodness, my gracious, that was nerve wracking. It looks like we could do it again if we need to. I'm gonna try another Ultra Ball real quick. Maybe we'll just get lucky. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, we got it! How exciting! Okay, that honestly, if we go Ivysaur Venusaur, that's two more. So now we're virtually down to just six left before leftovers. Woo! Ivysaurus Dato was that? Oh man, Ben, we're gonna need a name. Yes, fantastic, hold on.
Tinkbell. That's going to be after Tinkbell Q in the comments. Welcome to the box, but possibly, I don't know, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good uh, potential team member is all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's pretty cool. I like Ivysaur. Bulbasaur is my favorite Gen 1 starter. So that's, that's fun. Uh, we're going to switch da, 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 da. data back out front. Here we go. Get some levels here. I look at the seed to forget all the bad things that happened. Okay, what bad things happened to you? Maybe, maybe you keep like uh, drowning because you're carrying with you a giant iron Pokemon in the water that just got surfed to death. And a Geodude, okay. Not that concerned about you. All right, see you later, Geodude. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Now, the question is what legend are we hoping for, right? Because again, if we get that Kyogre, you know, that would be amazing. But the fact that we have Venusaur, or potential Venusaur now, also makes, like, um, uh, Grudon very interesting, right? Because then you could, uh, double edge. Then you could get Sunny Day. Then you could go in a completely different, then we could have Blaziken doing its thing. Um, not that we have to go weather at all. I'm just, it's just fun to fight the legend. Waylord! Okay, that's cool. Um, it's gonna go down. Water Pulse. You can't Water Pulse me. I'm a Water type. Yo, you got Rollout. Not gonna matter. Scary though. Boom. Data with the levels. Booyah. Oh gosh. What could we run into? I mean, we could run into. I mean, it could just be. It could just be anything though, couldn't it? It could be. It could be Rayquaza. It could be Mewtwo. It could be Mew. How cool would a Mew be? Who knows? We're going. So oh. Cool. This guy's got fire types. Psh, they're going down. Go happy. Flex them glutes, my man. Oh, a Rapidash. We'll just steal some XP here. No bigs. No bigs. Bam. And it helps. And it just helps us. That Pokedex number. Speaking of helpful numbers, uh, we just hit 79,000 subscribers on this channel, which means we are so close to 80,000. Uh, that was so exciting. Uh, it. it I wasn't really expecting uh, to have some giant boost in subscribers here. Not like giant boost, but we've had a significant boost since we started the Nuzlocke, and that's been very exciting. So welcome to all the new people. You guys have made this run very fun. If you're not subscribed, if you've just been following along, just hit the button. Yeah, that's It's very helpful. Um, oh, look. Livid is back. It's like the, the game knows the Peaches fight is like imminent, and uh, they're, they're reminding us to like, we have Big Pidge coming your way. Uh, but thank you everyone who has, sir, um, who is, who has been a subscriber and thank you to, um, all of our members here on the channel. Um, I noticed as we've been doing the premieres that some people have signed up to become members, which is greatly appreciated. And, um, I realized I didn't have much in place initially for you, for you guys. Um, I appreciate the support tremendously. So at the very least what I have done is uh, if you sign up to be a member, then you get a nice little uh, sporkles emoji next to your name in the comments. And you can uh, act, oh gosh. You get, uh, <laughs> look at this guy with the swamper. You get access to all the custom emojis, which we have a lot of really fun ones. Um, uh, uh, uh. Both of these are water ground. Man, okay, they are, they are not messing around here. Let's see, let's just brick break. Let's get rid of the Swampert first, right? The good news is we are a much higher level than these guys. We're gonna brick break both of them, I think. Why not? Or we're gonna brick break the Swampert twice. And we're gonna get the kill? Yes, wow, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. These guys, some serious. The Tail Whip hits both of us. Are you serious with that? We're gonna continue to brick break. I think we'll get them. Boy, good thing we didn't run into these guys at lower levels. They might have been a real challenge for us. The double water ground. That's good typing. That's good typing, typically. Especially since we don't have a grass type on the team. Otherwise, you can just shred through them. Um, R.I.P. Moirin, though, am I right? Oh, look at all these peeps. All right, here we go. Come on. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. this is a wild Pokemon. Um, I was like, what's happening? Ahoy there! These waters are treacherous! All right. Oh, boy. Happy getting all the fights today. Just flexing it like crazy. We are out in the water, though. And uh, Happy is, he's ready for that next Peaches fight. You know, Happy's been here. He's been in literally every single Peaches fight. And we know 
that the Elite Four is just waiting for us at the end of Victory Road. I will say, I'm not not nervous about the next Peaches fight, because if you watched my Fire Red Nuzlocke, you will know that was my very first one ever, and that was the one. Oh man, look at this, look at this. Now we should switch. Um, well, we don't really know. In that fight, Peaches brought out his Rhyhorn, and I brought out my last voice, Donatello, to destroy him. And little did I see coming the Horn Drill, which knocked out my starter Pokemon just before the Elite Four. It was heartbreaking. I'm sure if you've watched it, you know. You know. It was terrible. Look at this. Everything. Happy. Oh, why did I brick break? No. Okay, well, it's fine. I was going to surf. Is this guy going to be fighting or fire? Thus far, unclear. But we're just going to wreck through him no matter what. He's fire, turns out. <coughs> there we go. Got the surf in. Camera up. Go for the surf. Oh, my gosh. Legend hunting so fun. What is it going to... The question is, the other... The thing is, we should fight these trainers. Part of me is like, let's just skip them and get there. But we should fight them because we need the levels to uh, make sure that we're not, like, outmatched by the opponent, by the legendary itself, which will put up probably a pretty good fight because it's probably going to take quite a few... Um, turns to try and catch it. It's like probably not going to be just super straightforward, you know. Um, maybe it will. Maybe we'll just get it down to real low health and we'll just, uh, you know, we'll just wreck it in no time and we'll catch it in no time. And it'll be great. It'll be paralyzed and that'll be that. Detect? How dare you? How lame. All right, can you detect that? I didn't think so. See that big slash coming your way? Oh, and you got the, so you're a bug trainer? It doesn't matter. Slash. Oh! <gasps> okay. Sometimes things like Revenge, I think they like do extra damage if you went first, and I think that is how it works, but man, they make me nervous. I'm like, what just happened? Am I about to die? No, and then turns out that picture wasn't very good. An Ammonite, Lord Helix. That would have been an interesting catch. Route 20, so we are ready. Let me just double check that we've already caught something on Route 20. I'm pretty sure we have. We just got the town map used, because, oh, look at this. It's the same one as right next to Cinnabar. So yes, this is, we did catch something here. That's where we're going, though, to see if i So, but, but, do we have, to, oh man, are we coming in from the wrong side? That would be annoying. A skip, oh, we caught a skip loop. That's exactly what it was. Come to think of it. Look, <laughs> it's frustrating to know it could have been an Almanite. Whatever, it's okay. This guy's going down. This guy's obviously been training right here in the water. I mean, Almanite would have been Trying to learn Screech. No, I think we're good. We're not, it's, ah. We're at that stage where, for whatever reason, they decided certain Pokemon needed moves that weren't very good for their level. Let's get Sporkle some fights here. A Quillfish? How about a Sparkfish? How about a level seven? What a waste of an attack. I think it was worth just keeping the extra Spark rather than getting that low experience. Look at that, hilariously, yet another. Okay, you can you can spark on that, Sporks. Um, bu 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 bu. Let's just spark it. I think we're just we have the level of oh, sludge. Okay, no poison. That's the key. The poison. Yeah, this guy's going down too. We're gonna spark him. He's got that flying type. Yep. Whew, lots of. Oh come on! You know what we can use mighty quick attack. Boom. Dead. Spark. We're getting those levels though. Um, Data's picked up two. Happy's picked up. Oh, a Larvitar. That'd be another really cool thing to catch. We're going to switch out here and go to Data instead. Oh, the Rock Slide. Well, oh, gosh. That was stupid. Why did I go to Data here? That was not maybe the best switch I've ever made. Uh, Rhyhorn, this thing. Of course, you never know. Maybe it'll have Horn Drill. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's dead. And a Pseudo Wudo. It's also dead. Get out of here. Get out of here. The good other thing we need to remember as we go into our uh, legendary fight here. Okay, we've made it to the Seafoam Islands. If we were supposed to come from the other direction, I'm going to be so mad. I think we're good. Yeah, because this is the only side. Because even if we came from the other side. Is that right? If we were supposed to come from the other side, I, it's going to be so annoying. Okay, so bag. First things first. We need to max repel. And now we have to just hope that we don't run into anything in here until we get to Articuno. 
or what would otherwise be Articuno. An ice heel! Wonderful. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I feel like I can feel the game doing that thing where it's like, I feel like it's like freezing where I would have run into something. Oh, please don't run into anything. Please don't run into anything. This is such an annoying puzzle too. You have to like go down here and push some stuff. Yeah, okay, I think we're in the right spot. Gonna go over here, right? Over here? I have to fall down this one? Or is this the same spot? Maybe I went the wrong way. We have to make sure that we don't take any unneeded steps. Outside of... That's just going to push us right back to here. Item over here. Okay, Ultra Ball, that's helpful. The only other real spot we can go is right here. Okay, this looks right. Right? Because what we want is those, yeah. Okay, okay, this is right. Here we go, okay, doing the puzzle. I really don't want to mess this up now either. That would be the worst. Want to make sure we push that out of the way. Because then we just do that. Then we do this. Right? And then we can go down here and we land in the water. Oh boy, okay. We are at the Articuno. You're at the Articuno. What's it gonna be? Oh man, I am so nervous. Let's see, okay, first things first. We need to switch Suisen out to the front. Then we're also going to, oh man, maybe we should've got more Hyper Potions. Anyway, we're gonna put that one there. Um, we have more, we have two full restores and a bunch of those, okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Our goal is to paralyze and then try and just wheedle down whatever it is. Okay. Here we go. Can we catch us another legendary? Go! All right. What's it going to be? What's it going to be, Ben? Are you ready? Let's find out. Oh, no way! You guys, you guys, okay, okay. We've got Sweeset out there. Made it rain, there it is, that's the drizzle. We've been talking about it, I cannot believe it. I can't believe we got the coyote. Okay, we still have to catch it. Nothing is, uh, nothing is certain at all. Can it run? I don't think so, no, it can't okay. run. Okay. okay, so we can at least, Hydra, oh God! Oh my gosh, we are so screwed. We are so screwed. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. The good news is, it only has five of those, and we're using pressure, so it actually has three left. Uh, so we can we can time it out. Um, oh my gosh, that would have been the worst. I think it's probably a good thing we had Suicid out there to take that hit, though. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Use ice beam. That's bad too. That's gonna make. Oh. Woo, The rain makes Hydro Pump accurate. Does it? Maybe it makes it stronger. Oh gosh, we did not. Well, it's not that we didn't think about it. It's just that. We didn't think about it enough. We didn't think about it enough. We just could have prepared maybe a little bit more. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. It is paralyzed, so there is that. Let's just double check. Who has the, the highest special defense? 123. Okay, so definitely Suisen has the highest special defense. But in the meantime, Data can probably take... 
hits anyway, because also water type. So I don't, oh, okay. And the ice types won't hurt. I don't know what else it has though. Let's try, because then we can also try and pair a flincher with headbutt. So let's, oh gosh, I'm, I feel so, but so happy could probably also take a hit. Okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, Data, you got it. Hydro pump, ah! we're playing with fire. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's not very effective, but look how much it did. Okay, now see the problem there is that it didn't have the pressure applied, so it still has two left, I think. Okay, okay, okay. What we need is, oh gosh, we should have had more hyper potions. This is bad news bears. Nothing. Not only. Okay, that did nothing. Why, why even, Kyogre? Okay, now we are in. Finally, we are in. Launch our own attack. So now, Headbutt can cause flinch, and it's paralyzed. So this is what you call para flinching. Ready? Let's see if we can do it. Calm mind. That is so freaking scary. Why do you have that? Why? Why? Why do you have calm mind? That is terrifying. That makes its attack and its defense um, stronger. Well, mm -hmm. it's a twofer. It's a, it's a twofer, all right. Um, no, it has not been paralyzed before. Oh, no, oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, the, okay, so you only have one more hydro pump though, right? If, if the, I don't know if the game plays with the power points, but that's what it should do. It would seem stupid that it doesn't. Come on, why, why come mine? Okay, you've got to be paralyzed eventually, Kyogre. This is so nerve-wracking. <laughs> no, okay, that has to be his last one. It, no! Data! Okay, okay, that has to be, I think that's the last one. We have full restore, okay. Oh my gosh, Data hanging on by the threadiest of threads. Like a boss. It can, oh, now it's paralyzed, okay. Okay, that should have been all the hydro pumps. That was insane. Oh. <laughs> that, was uh, that was way too close. And but get the flinch. It's paralyzed. Okay, it's starting to work. It's starting to work. The paral paralysis is finally setting in. It, can, it has rest. Oh no. Oh no, it's bad. Okay. Okay, we're going to use the opportunity to switch to Sweeson. And we're going to Thunder, oh, it won't work. No, what was I thinking? That was dumb. Okay, so it's gonna wake up this turn. Let's hit it with thunder. It has, so what is it? It still has rest, ice beam, and calm mind. So it can only hurt us with ice beam at the moment. Okay, okay. Right? Okay, can we heal data again or no? Cannot heal data again. Um. We can't, we can, we can, yes. So data, I think, is gonna be the key, as long as, the problem is gonna be the rest, because it's gonna be able to, let's see what Thundershock does. Okay, super effective, calm mind, don't like that. Thunder wave. Ice beam, okay, Sweeson, how do you think an ice beam? Take an ice beam, Sweeson. Oh, oh gosh, not well. This thing is strong, it is so strong, but that should be, the only thing, oh my gosh. We're gonna have to. So how many ice beams does it use now? Three? It could run out of ice beams. Oh gosh. I have to go to the headbutt. It fell asleep again, no! It's a big problem, because I can't. How do we, we can take the opportunity to, do we have another full restore? Okay, this is this is like our last big heal. Okay, so that's dangerous, but realistically, we're gonna headbutt it, we're gonna headbutt it. It went back to sleep, okay, so it's just gonna sit here. If it just, oh no, we're gonna run out of headbutts. 
That's a bummer. Thing has got to move. Let's see how Surf does. Not much. Let's see how Aurora Beam does? N basically nothing. Beam? Mm -hmm. Surf did more. Use Ice Beam. The Ice Beam isn't doing zero damage to us either. Oh gosh, the Surf would be just getting boosted by the rain. This is insane. The problem is, what if it's like too much trouble? I don't know what I want it to only be doing. If it gets to the point where it can only use Calm Mind. Just leave the game. Okay, we're gonna switch. Go to you. And we're gonna spark it to try to do more damage. Okay, it's doing damage, but it's not doing a lot of damage. On mine. Okay, that's part of why it's not doing damage either, though, is because of the. Oh, that's bad. That's that. We just lost our other legendary Pokemon. The Ice Beam. Mmm, I thought <gasps> we should have been able to take it. I did the, the crit. It just kept going down. It just kept going down. Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. What do you, okay. Oh god, that was painful. That was painful. That was painful. Okay. I don't think that's the answer. You're not the one. You're not the one. Um. Uh, let's get happy. Let's. God, that sucks. Um. Man. Okay. Okay. Bite can also flinch. Really need. A lot of help on right now. Let's see how this does. Let's see how this does. Oh no, happy, 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 happy. Happy, 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 Oh my gosh, that's terrifying, that's terrifying, that's terrifying. And I'm like, that one bit, oh my gosh. And I'm like, no, Switch, switch, switch. Don't you dare use rest. Oh, the special the special attack rises are killing us here. All right, let's go for our headbutt. Won't go any higher. Great. Great. This is fantastic. Oh, man. All right, let's go. Oh, we're running low on surfs, too. We're going to run out of ways to hurt it. Right now, it's only using Calm Mind. There's no way we could catch it at this point. No, we have to do more damage. Goodness me. I can't believe we lost Lisa. That sucks so bad. The ice beams hurt. They hurt. Look at Data, taking it like a champ. Okay. Um, he uses rest again. It's gonna be terrible. That's gonna be bad. Oh no. Okay. Okay. The whole episode. This is the whole episode. Okay. The advantage we have is Thunder. Oh, sparkles! You genius! You're amazing! And it's asleep! But if it, okay. The, oh gosh, okay, okay. The question is, I think we need to switch first, because right now it's asleep, which is great. Because if we threw the ball right now, it's in red health. How many turns has it been asleep? It fell asleep, and then we switched. And then we used thunder, and it was asleep. So it's gonna be asleep for one more turn. So right now, we could throw the ball. Please work, please just work. No! No! Oh no! Oh my god! 
My stomach just dropped. You have no idea. If that thing could ice me sporkles, the pain, I could never have overcome it. I could, that would, that was in the line of fire. I was, uh, that was stupid. Okay, thunder. Come on. That did nothing. Okay, because critical hits, um, bypass the drops. That's what happened. Um, oh my gosh, we're so screwed. We're so screwed. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, calm mind. Is it out of ice beams? Because it hasn't used one in a while, though. I need one. That's the only potential thing I could think of. It could be out. I mean, it could be. That could just, this could be what we're up against is that nice crit. Um, okay, let's try and. Just nothing. Oh gosh, we're just out of like reliable ways to punch it. Unless we know it's out of ice beams. But if it isn't, so I'm just gonna keep data in there until I feel very, con very content that that's the case. Um, we're out of headbutt and surf. Let's see, can we, do we have like a, uh, like a elixir or something? There's an elixir, okay. Okay, that might be this. That might be something to do. And then, do we have an X attack? X accuracy. X special. We might need to use the elixir. The problem is getting the switches in because. Okay, because <laughs> oh, that does so little damage. So does it just only have rest? I think all it has right now is rest and calm mind. So it actually cannot, I think it can't hurt us unless it just has an ice beam and hasn't used it in a while because it keeps using these attacks, which is frustrating because when it falls asleep, you can't paralyze it. But we don't have anything to lower its health enough whilst it is asleep to... It's a chess match. It is a chess match. It's a bit of a chess... Look at this. Now we're already... The problem is going to be if it starts using... Okay, here's what we need to do. Here's something we can do. Okay. We can do, the problem is if it eventually runs out of attacks and starts using struggle, um, then those will also do a lot of damage, but we can really weaken its attack in the meantime. So that if, if and when it gets to that point, it is uh, screwed. Okay, it looks like, I think we're safe. Let's try and hit it with a strength because that'll do at least more damage. I think maybe all it has is Calm Mind now. Okay, that did pretty good. That might have done too good. Maybe. Oh gosh, I feel so nervous setting against Oracles. Okay, let's go for the Paralyze. Calm Mind. I think all it has is Calm Mind now. So we can Thunder Wave it. And we can. Spark it. Spark it. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh, but now it has recoil. Okay, so now we're fighting against... 
it recoiling itself to death. We gotta start heaving, y'all. Oh gosh. The thing is, each each successive hit should make it just a, the tiniest bit easier to catch. Oh my gosh. Unless it doesn't, in which case, part of me also thinks we need to just switch to something with more health though. <laughs> Because I don't want to like risk some sort of weird. Sparkles is our thing. No doubt, no doubt. Maybe it can't knock itself out. It doesn't look like it's losing. Oh! We got it! We got the Kyogre! Good oh! I was sweating, man. I am sweating. That was such a freaking chess match. I was like, maybe we'll go fight it and then we'll do something else. That's the episode. Oh my gosh, I've never. Oh, that was so tense. And we lost Sweeson. That, was, that sucks. That freaking critical ice beam. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a fight. What a fight. Yes. Okay, we need a nickname for the giant whale. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was hard. Okay, you might not like this. Hmm? How do you feel about goop? Goop? Goop. <laughs> oh. All right. Goop. For Goop Man. Goop? That's for Goop Man in the comments? Welcome, Kyogre. Guys, I think... I think we have to do the rain dance now though, right? That was what we were hoping for. We've been given a sign from the game, right? Right? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I felt like kind of a little bit of a, kind of a little bit of a sign. We're gonna save so nothing happens and we definitely have that happen. Okay, okay, wow. I feel like I don't know. <laughs> that was such an insane fight. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe we caught it. I was so certain we were screwed. I was like, we this was a mistake. What were we doing? The rest. I can't believe we got it all the way down to struggle. We survived literally all of its attacks. Sweet said I think was key because it helped the pre I was like, will the pressure help? The pressure helped for sure. Those hydro pumps early on were devastating. And then we lost all the hyper potions. I should have stocked up more, as usual, unprepared. Uh, figured it out anyway. That's the, that's the name of the game. My goodness. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know, do you think we should go rain dance? Should we? Because we could put on Mythos. We have Mama Smurf. We have uh, Kirk, I think. Is that the name of our Vaporeon? We have, we have water options. Also, we caught that Ivysaur. Also, we still have Reichlick in the box now. Hurting our rain dance dreams is the loss of Sweeson, because that had the mighty thunder, but uh, man, okay, think, okay, hear me out, just, you know, thinking out loud. For alligator, date, we have Happy, Data, Mythos, Goop, Sporkles, Mom Smurf, right? No, no, maybe, maybe we also keep Dracus on, obviously. Um, but that would mean, that would mean, that would mean, uh, that CC, it basically would just mean CC would go onto the bench and we would just switch out CC for, um, Suisen, or for, uh, the Kyogre and the Mythos. That's basically what we'd be looking at. Um, alternatively, maybe I'll look up, maybe CC can learn some water moves so we don't even have to worry about that. Maybe we would just, maybe we just bring on the Kyogre and we've already got, that still makes four members of the team compatible. And Dracus isn't really hurt by it. Hoot, maybe, we'll see. Okay, let me know what your thoughts. Holy crap, what an episode. That was amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. I don't know if you haven't already. I think I earned a like. I think I earned a like. Let's get, let's all, press the like button right now. You owe me that at the very least. Oh my goodness. I'll see you next time. Bye.